Greetings to the NEM community around the world. This is a new edition of NEM Español, a YouTube show that tells you, mainly in Spanish, every relevant issue in the NEM blockchain ecosystem. I'm your host, Alexis Trujillo. In past broadcasts, we've talked about NEM's blockchain center in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia's capital, which serves as a learning center, incubator, and accelerator for organizations in Asia willing to explore blockchain technology and applications in multiple industries. This facility is the largest of its kind in the region, measuring 3,000 square meters and also the first to be fully operated by a blockchain technology organization to serve governments, universities, and companies. It's also the headquarters of the NEM Foundation's local business development delegation, one of the most diligent and important in our ecosystem. And I think a better, a way better face to explain her own role in the NEM Foundation is our very own Jessica Hugh, who's joining us from Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, pretty close to our NEM Blockchain Center. We have her now. Okay, Jessica, how are you? Welcome to NEM Español. Yeah, I'm good. Hello, everyone. So um, I'm Jessica Hugh, like uh, Alessius mentioned. So um, I've joined uh, NEM for one and a half year. So right now I'm working as a business development manager. I'm taking care of the partnerships and to form a strategic alliances for NEM Foundation in Malaysia. So um, if you are curious, why NEM? So it was actually... Um, uh, actually, mm -hmm. you're getting a little ahead from us because that's exactly what we wanted to ask you. Mm -hmm. when, okay. No, no, no. We're, we're, we know you're a pretty connoisseur of, of the technological landscape there. Mm -hmm. And we're pretty lucky to have you in our ranks. But mm -hmm. we wanted to ask you, why did you choose them? How, how comes you landed in, in them? Usually a lot of people they ask me because they say, mm, usually female, I mean like, to be honest, uh, not many females would want to get into blockchain, right? So to be very frank to you guys, I'm very, very new in this industry. So one year and six months, I'm still learning every single day. And why not? Okay, so it is actually by accident. Uh, my friend actually introduced me to them as a, hey, um, then he's actually hiring. You say it's by accident? Okay, that hurts, okay? <laughs> but it's a good accident. It's okay. a good accident. It's a good one. It's yeah. That's a good accident, okay? That's on record. Yeah, yeah. It's a good accident because uh, I used to work in PR and event management uh, firm agencies. So um, for about five, six years, it's quite long and I feel it's a little bit redundant. And when they tell me, hey, um, there's a blockchain company, my friend said, uh, blockchain company is hiring. Uh, would you like to try? I was like, blockchain, what is it? It told me like, oh, so long. Let's like, what is blockchain? What are you guys doing? I was like, it's totally different. And slowly, I think it took me about six months to really understand what you guys are doing and what the tech people are doing. And it's pretty cool. So I say, why not? And um, actually, Alex and Jason have already uh, given me a very, you know, like, very good opportunity for me to actually jump into this landscape and to try on something very new. In fact, they even challenged me to do something which um, I can't really say here, but it, it it keeps me, you know, I want to move forward and go along with them for um, a pretty long time. Yeah, and, and actually you are based on the, on the blockchain center, okay? Yes. And yes. what do you there? What what do you do there in in, in, in our blockchain center in, in Kuala Lumpur? Okay, so NAM Blockchain Center is the very strategic approach that's in Malaysia. So, um, in fact, I think that's the biggest center in the, over Southeast Asia. So people are actually coming in to learn about blockchain, not just about that. We actually give a sense of security to the government and the big corporates because they say why we choose um, people over, uh, we choose you guys over others because you guys are here, physically here. And when we talk with you guys, we know that we have direct access to the owner, to the tech team, and to the decision-making group. Instead of, hey, um, probably we send an email to, you know, like the help or support at 
xx.com you need to wait one month two months and or probably no news ever so this is something that uh, advantage it's a advantage over other uh, competitors here in Malaysia and because right here to be very frank uh, Malaysia is a very, very diverse country we are very unique we are very people oriented so they like to uh, make connections so people like us business development like me and Leroy both of us we are here to actually to connect to establish uh, this a uh, very strong rapport with all these government people uh, and then with all these uh, enterprises and also uh, academics okay how comes a technological solution needs a development of mm -hmm. business isn't all about being technical isn't all about being the best blockchain is it, is mm -hmm. it enough with, okay why do we need a business solution is, for that? okay okay so i have a disclaimer don't um, attack me afterwards so personally i think uh when they say it, uh always says if you want to go fast, you have to go alone. If you want to go far, you have to go together as a team. So everyone has and, and, their and own, uh, yes. Everyone's yes. Yes. Yeah. And all of us, we have our own purpose. Like me, I like to talk. I like to get engaged with people. I like to attend events. I like to go everywhere and explore new things. While people uh, like our tech trainers, they are much more into the development, into the technology itself. So everyone has different personality. So probably they prefer to stay inside to do all this coding stuff. And I prefer to go out to talk to people who tell a story. And that's how we actually pair up together to work out a very, very powerful uh, 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 system or a company or a technology. Because technology is not always just about technology because I think people play a very important role as well. Yeah, but, but, but yeah. Jessica, tell, tell me, okay, mm. maybe for someone, for, for someone to uh, pretty convincing or, or someone who knows technology, mm. a little easier to explain other, okay, this is what you need. This, this might work for your business. Mm -mm. Okay. But how do you approach that? How do you tell people, hey, I have this that could work for you. Okay, mm. how do you do that? Most of the time, this is uh, Leroy's and I approach, uh, our own approach. It's like, mm, blockchain is the best. Blockchain is the solution for everything. Yeah, that it's, is actually, it's a solution. That is actually, that, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> But that's the main confusing thing about this, because everyone thinks that blockchain works for everything. No, no, not always, not in every case. No, 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 no. It's actually not always. So what is interesting is, I just want to share you a little bit uh, what we've done in Malaysia. So we have actually uh, did a few sessions a blockchain exp uh, experimentary or exploratory lab sessions with a few uh, giant company in Malaysia. So at the end of the day, quite a few of them, they actually find out, hey, we don't actually need blockchain because the problems is not, the, the foundational thing is not just about blockchain, it's not just about technology, it's about the gaps of all the systems and the first thing they have to do is to fix this problem before they go into blockchain and this is something that I was passionate about because we have to let people know it's not if someone actually tells you blockchain is the only solution it is not right and what we do because uh, for me personally I think we have to be frank of course we want to make business we want to be sustainable we want to make money but we have to be frank as well. So at the end of the day, we still keep in touch with all these uh, companies, with all these uh, uh, government agencies, and they will actually come to us and ask, hey, so what do you think? Uh, what's the next steps? And how can we work towards this blockchain roadmap and so on? So it is, it is a very long-term relationship. And for me, I do think that long-term relationship works better than short-term relationship because money isn't always everything and technology and people will make up 
very, very positive and like a boom for everything. And that is what uh, we are doing here in Malaysia. We are trying to build a very strong, a bad balance and also very, very supportive community or ecosystem here right now. Now, um, we recently made public uh, a graphic, a chart you, you had, you, you developed in, in Malaysia and the mm. role of NEM in the Malaysia blockchain ecosystem. And it mm -hmm. shows how important is NEM over there. NEM is big time over there. And that's thanks, that's, thanks to you, thanks to the, to the team, okay? But, yes, the team. <laughs> okay, no, 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 the team. And, yeah, and, yeah, the team, yes. Okay, and the proper way to tell this that, that okay, you may be the face right now in the, in the mm -hmm. show, but there's a huge bunch of people there. Now, do you think, or uh, what do you think we should do as a global organization to mm -hmm. make them that capital, but all over the world? What was your, your local strategy and what do you think mm -hmm should be doing it in order to get them that important globally. I always remember that NEM is, you know, it's built for the community and we listen to the community because we want to know what is the best for, not just for the community, of course, it's for the people. But however, um, the, the more, uh, how do you say it, how do you put it, uh, a customer-centric or a consumer-centric product isn't enough so we have a, a lot more to do and we also have a commercialization working group who is actually currently working uh, to get all these revenue streams to get uh, all these uh, execution plannings uh, rolling and going on definitely i won't lie i won't lie we still have a lot more to go and the team is working really really hard to it and uh like to answer your question just now um personally the ecosystem is actually very important because with team you can actually go faster and further probably not very fast because of course different regions with different working style and then we have different uh, laws and different regulations like LATAM they are very different in, in Southeast Asia it's very different and then in China it's totally another uh, 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 system itself so um, if you were to ask me whether if we can copy the same thing in the rest of the world, um, I don't think so. But it helps us, we can learn from each other. So that is why we actually keep uh, conversations with different teams. We talk to Steve from China and then we talk to Pedro. So Pedro is very good. So he will actually share us uh, what's happening in LATAM and how is it like, what's the landscape, what's happening and Anton in Ukraine, what's happening and what, uh, how's the people over there and all this. And this makes us very unique and because them, we have the right team right now. We have the best tech team here and then we are working on our uh, online portal to actually uh, to get uh, more people to get certified or to get educated to know what more about blockchain not just the technology itself but what can it help to actually advance the people advance a nation across the world and um, I still remember uh, a year ago or one and a half year ago where we are actually everywhere in trade shows conferences literally everywhere else it is. and then um, we speak to a lot of other leading agencies from the government for example uh, Malaysian industry government group for high technology so it's a report for Malaysia blockchain and distributed ledger technology uh, for 2019 so over the years uh, they have actually found out hey you see blockchain it's it's actually growing steadily and because of this NEM and X-ray and they actually partner out with us and Jobatico to actually, uh, we actually advise and that how many blockchain experts are needed in Malaysia? How do we able to upskill our people? How do we, how do we, uh, what can we do to actually get more talents in Malaysia? And of course, to build, to nurture our own talent in Malaysia as well. And we also working with, um, uh, there's a southern state in Malaysia called Johor. So we are actually having, uh, they are actually having a blockchain village very, very soon and they're launching next month. We are one of the key stakeholders of that. 
So we are also advising them uh, how do we, uh, how can we help? How can we help you to actually advance? And of course, like I mentioned just now, ecosystem partners are very, very important. We actually bring in and we link each of our partners with this blockchain village. We bring them in as part of the ecosystem to work for better and greater uh, future. So we introduce our education institution partners so they can actually be the one who provide all this talent. They train the people, just like what Philippines is actually doing right now. The syllabus, blockchain syllabus trainings, and then we have trained the trainers trainings. So this is something that is very, very fundamental. And I always believe that education is the key and it is the foundational uh, layer of almost everything, just like blockchain. So blockchain is not um, it's not really disruptive, to be honest. Yeah. Don't no. shoot me. That's right. It's not really this. It's not really. Disruptive. It's not really but probably way, a bit, but, but not really. But the way, but the way, but the way you use it will be mm -hmm. pretty disruptive. Okay. Mm. And that will be another topic for case. another time because. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, a little short that right now, and we really, we really thank you for your visit to our show, mm. Nem Español. If you have some final thoughts mm. you want to leave us, please. Oh, yeah. Um, last word before we go. Um, I just want to do a public service announcement. So, um, for the... Co for, for, for actually it's uh, on behalf of Alex. So, we would like to hear from the community. So, please go to the forum. Um, I forgot what to link. I think you guys can get it from Nam News, right? Nam News channel. And go to the forum and please let us know what do you guys think and what do you think it, it works best for, for the community and for the people, right? So we need to gather all the feedback and thought before we finally come up with something. And um, thank you very much for having me. And I hope all of this can go hand in hand. And we can create a brighter future. And of course, I can I really can't wait for you know uh, catapult to launch because we have to go full force. Yeah. Yeah, and with this uh, bright thought of Jessica, we're leaving this edition of Name Espanol. We uh, invite you not just to follow her idea and the for and the Name Forum, but also our social media where you can leave us every message. You want for, uh, to tell us because every message. Then blockchain center, yeah. <laughs> then blockchain center Facebook page, it's there. No, no, no. Actually, yeah. actually, we're gonna leave that. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> thank you so very much to Jessica Hugh for being with us, and this is it. I am Alexis Trujillo, and I say to you, so long. Ciao. <laughs> is that correct? It's way cool. <laughs> <laughs>